I'm going to show you the five ways to build your app for free in 2024. We'll go through my five different ways, and I'll even show you a secret way at the end that I think is going to take just the world by storm in 2024. Let's go through the five. Number one, Flutterflow. Two, Buildbox. Three, Toddle. Four, Canonic. Five, Softer. And bonus, we're going to be talking about Chat GPT and other things like that. First of all, what are some of these platforms? The first one, Flutterflow, is a application and a platform where you can be building your application very quickly. This is a low-code platform, so you can be using elements to start building visually your next application that you're thinking about. BuildBox allows you to build games that are either 2D or 3D, and you can start for free. They even have a component where you can use AI, so you can go from text to game. You can actually build out different components for your game just by simply typing in what you're looking for. Toddle is a platform where you can be building a lot of different applications that you want. And really the sky's the limit. We'll talk about them a little bit deeper in a little bit, but if you're trying to create Airbnb, maybe even the next YouTube, you can be doing this with Toddle. Canonic allows you to build a full stack application without coding. So if you're trying to build internal tools, dashboards, all of these different things, you can be doing this with Canonic. We've been talking about them for a couple of years and they just keep getting better and better. And I think the breakout year is going to be for 2024. Softer allows you to build custom applications for your business quickly. And I will say easily. You, I think this is the easiest tool that you can get started with and their free plan is really generous. We'll talk about it. And the last section, we'll... Well, let's just talk about ChatGPT. If you haven't been using it, it allows you to be able to write different prompts and use text. Now, how could we actually be building an application? We could do this for free, but I will say this is on the spectrum of low code or if you're a full-time developer because you will need to know the structure or what you're asking, but you can be building applications with ChatGPT and we'll talk about Replit in just a little bit. So let's get a little bit deeper in some of these platforms. With Flutterflow, some of the features that really jump out with Flutterflow is some of their AI gen or AI generator that you can be building visually. So you can ask it to build the front end and just in a few sentences, it can start building what it will look like. But if you're having trouble building the back end, it will allow you to generate your database or how you save your data as well. With BuildBox, you have a host of other things that you can be building. And if you're interested in building your own video game, please let me know in the chat below. Now, let's go a little bit deeper with the pricing because people want to know, like, what am I going to be getting for this? With all of these different different plans, you can be starting with a free plan to get started in building what you want. Depending on what you need it for, you can scale it into a paid features, but all of these different ones, all of the ones that we mentioned today, start with a free plan, and that allows you to get customers, validate your idea, and then be able to scale. Depending on what you need, you can then go up in price, but it really depends on what you're trying to build. So again, in the comment section, what are you trying to build? Where are you going to be starting at? Now, I'm going to be picking out just a few that I, I like a lot. Softer, because of their templates. If I'm trying to create a marketplace very quickly, if I'm trying to create a database, a directory, a jobs board that I can charge for, this is what I could be doing with Softer. And in just a few clicks, you can connect your Airtable or your Google Sheets account, and then you can have a full application already built for you and ready to go. How you can actually build with this is similar to any kind of website builder like Wix or, uh, or Squarespace where you can just have blocks you can build out with software. And we have tons of videos where we break this down, how we worked with software and how we continue to see all their new features and why we like them. The new players on the block would definitely be Toddle. Um, but I would say if I'm looking at the pricing, what makes this really special for the hobby section, you can have a public project, 
Um, you can have the non-commercial project right here. So if you sell or promote products or services, you need to get a startup plan. But you can go and, again, test out your ideas, see what your audience is looking for, all of those things. See if it's something that has an appeal to your audience, and then you can move up in price later on if you want to. But again, start at the hobby le level. You can have tons of things. It even mentions max 1 million requests right there. So if you're dealing with APIs and things like that, 1 million. <laughs> so you can do a lot with the free plan to test it out. And then when you're having an audience that's willing to pay, that's willing to make the move, then you can go to another, uh, another solution. Now, let's talk about Replit and ChatGPT. So Replit has something called Ghostwriter, and this allows you to write code if you want to. But remember, if you're already having the vision of what you want and you understand the concept of coding, there are tons of examples of ones that know just the very basics. They're not coding it themselves, but they're running it through ChatGPT, and then they're putting it in Replit to be able to create that first MVP, that minimal viable product. That's something that you can do as well. If you're interested in seeing examples of how people are doing this or learning about this, let me know in the comment section down below. But using Replit AI and using ChatGPT for free, people are making some really crazy, crazy stuff and applications in 2024. In the comment section down below, which one do you want to choose? What are you trying to build? And if you want us to do a deeper dive, a breakdown of some of these platforms, let me know. Either we'll have the links down in the description to start as a beginner like Softer or Flutterflow. But if you want us to talk about Canonic, if you want us to talk about Toddle, whatever you want us to do, we will do it. I'll see you in the next video.